familiar faces here and familiar foes a theme tonight in high school soccer as we get to district finals. Anthony Wayne came from behind to beat Notre Dame the first time. This game comes down in the second half. They're scoreless at the break. Zoe Van Orden, gorgeous pass to Allie Peckham, and Peckham does the rest. Her 17th goal of the season is the Eagles' first of the night. 1-0 in the 44th minute. Back come the Generals relying on their lethal scorer. Lila Simon lights a firework from one town over. They're tied, but it only takes four minutes at the other end. After an 8-up foul, Bella Calcamujo's kick gets through to Ellie Korzynski. Count it for the 2-1 lead and keep it for the win and the hardware. It was just exciting, but it was it came from the delivery. We've been working on it at practice, and again, it just comes from everyone's focus and working hard. All of us are so versatile in our abilities to play in any position, and we all just you know knew we had to come out tonight and put forth our best effort, and that's what we did. Chris Schmidbauer and Chris Black were there. What did you guys see? Well, Anthony Wayne and Notre Dame played each other just a few weeks ago. Anthony Wayne was able to storm back from a two-goal deficit to win 3-2. Notre Dame, though, able to reverse that tonight. A goal from Ali Peckham, a goal from Ellie Korzynski, and they're district champs. Yeah, a lot of resilience, obviously. And then playing some players out of position, making do with what you need to, to to get this far into the tournament is something that a lot of teams have to go through. Notre Dame did it really, really well, and they got key contributions from players slightly out of position, and probably not something that they would expected anyways, but two great programs. No surprise they were in the district final together tonight. You and I were so impressed with Lauren Hancock, who ended up playing more of a holding center mid tonight. She was very good disrupting the flow of Anthony Wayne's offensive attack, especially in that second half. Yeah, and the first time they played, she was so dangerous on that outside flank, and you'd imagine Imagine Anthony was going to try to stay away from her, put her in the middle of things like she was today. She did a great job really limiting opportunities for Anthony Wayne, but starting some of the attacks as well, but, but gave probably a lot of calmness as well, knowing that she was back there once they're trying to hold on to that lead. Well, as we said, Notre Dame district champs, still much to play for. You've been in this position before. What are the keys over the next couple of days for the Eagles? Uh, yeah, enjoy this, but then they'll find out here shortly who's going to have that next game against them. But go back, looking at themselves, what they need to do. Coaching staff will look at what they need to do against the other team. Try to bring that into training a little bit, but keep that focus mainly on themselves. Enjoy that moment. Stay in that journey mode, not, not, the, not the ending. Don't worry about where you're going to go. Worry about where you are right now. Keep focusing for that next 80 minutes. Well, Chip Smith and his Notre Dame Eagles returning back over to Secor Road, district champions here in 2023.